clubs are currently taking part in pre-season, gearing up for the start of the new campaign. But in the background, teams are also trying to do business with buying and selling players so that they can put themselves in the best possible position come the start of the season. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we do have our weekly instalment of the transfer roundup where we take a look at transfer links, transfer rumours, incomings and outgoings across Scottish football. Please do smash that like button before we get into the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new as we do cover a lot of Scottish football content. Ange Postagoglu has been in the job for a number of weeks now and his side have been impressive in their opening friendlies against Sheffield Wednesday and Charlton. However, fans are starting to get a little disgruntled at the fact that Celtic have only brought in one player, that being Ozaze Agidi, with the first Champions League qualifier in a number of days. Let's take a look at some possible incomings that Celtic are linked with this week. The first player linked with a move to Celtic is Carl Starfelt. Fabrizio Romano earlier last week came out and said that Celtic had begun discussions with the Swedish centre-back and that Celtic were also ready to table a £4 million bid. However, reports this week suggest that Ruben Carson are attempting to bump up the fee as they face a hefty sell-on clause from Starfelt's former club, Gothenburg. This is now leading the potential move to snag. Whether Celtic will match the Russian side's valuation, well, that remains to be seen. The next player to be linked with a move to Celtic is attacking fullback Brandon Soppy. The 19-year-old has apparently shot up the top of the wish list and could be available for around £4 million as French side Rennes are determined to cash in on him as he goes into the final year of his contract. Soppy played 14 matches last season and also was capped 11 times for the French under-18 side. With a proven record of developing young French players like Dembele and Edouard, Soppy could be hugely attracted at the idea of going to Celtic. The last player being linked with a move to Celtic this week is Israeli winger Leah Dabada. The 19-year-old currently plays for Maccabi Peter Tavaka and it is being understood that Belgian and French clubs have already made offers. But Israeli sources have now claimed that Celtic are favourites as they have entered the running to sign the talented winger and could cost the hoops £3.5 million. Abada scored 12 goals last season and has already made his international debut for Israel. Abada normally plays on the right but can also operate on the left and through the middle. If Celtic can sign this versatile Israeli, it could be a decent purchase for the now and for the future. As for outgoings, Celtic have rejected a £12 million bid with an additional £3 million in add-ons from Premier League side Brentford for Christopher Ayer. Reports suggest that Celtic are holding out for something closer to £20 million, however in my personal opinion I found it very strange as I thought Celtic would have jumped at the chance for £15 million due to the fact that Ayer is in his final year of his contract and has also admitted that he wants to move on this summer. Another player who was set to leave this summer was Olivier Cham, however reports suggest now he has had a change of heart and now wants to stay at Celtic. Cham was on loan at Marseille in the second half of last season and since his return he has been heavily linked with a move to Greek side AEK Athens. But now according to Greek publication Sport Time, AEK have tried one last time to lure the midfielder to the club but Cham's representatives have told him he is staying put in Glasgow. Now moving on to the Champions Rangers, and last week the club announced their third signing of the window, that being John Lundstrom. However, it doesn't look like the club are done there, and now this week the Govan side are heavily linked with a move for Danilo Duecki. The Vitesse defender has admitted that he would consider serious interest from Rangers, and reports in the Netherlands state that the centre-back is on Steven Gerrard's summer wish list, with the likes of Newcastle, Norwich and Fulham keeping tabs on the player. Dweki is a 23-year-old centre-back and was a part of the Netherlands squad for the European Under-21 Championships and also helped Vitesse to a fourth place finish in the Eredivisie. The defender has made over 100 appearances for Vitesse and could be a good signing. However, there is one problem and that is that Rangers are heavily stacked at the back with Goldson, Balogun, Halander, Katic, Simpson and Edmondson. As for outgoings, it has been a little quiet on this front, but I am expecting the links to continue with Glenn Kamara, and now that Alfredo Morelos is finished with international duty, I expect more concrete offers to come in for him, either from Porto or other clubs. 
That's us done for the old firm transfer links, but please do stick around as we take a look at the other clubs, transfer rumours, links, incomings and outgoings. Starting in Dundee at Dens Park, and the Dark Blues have announced the signing of Corey Panther, who joins on a season-long loan from Luton Town. And it is also being reported that goalkeeper Danny Rogers is on a trial with the club this week. Moving across the road to Tannadice, and United have announced the signing of Trevor Carson on a two-year deal. The 33-year-old has made 335 appearances, whilst also racking up 80 clean sheets along the way. He is expected to compete with Benjamin Segris for that number one spot. A player who could be leaving the club this summer is left-back Jamie Robson, as Ipswich and Oxford United are heavily interested in the player. Moving down to Livingston, and the club have announced the loan signing of Rangers youth prospect Ben Williamson. The youngster will be at the Lions for the whole of next season and was a standout last season whilst on loan at Arbroath. Motherwell announced the signing of Liam Kelly last week but are also linked to 21-year-old Irish centre-back Darrow O'Connor. Brought through the Leicester Youth Academy, it is being understood that the player will go on a trial at the Stillman this week. So there you go guys, that is our weekly instalment of the Transfer Roundup all done. Uh, but before we go, I just wanted to uh, discuss some of the uh, some of the rumours and give you my uh, opinions on it. Um, I just wanted to start by talking about Celtic. Um, I'm not sure what's going on over at Celtic at the moment. Of course, they've got their Champions League qualifier in the next few days. Um, I find it very, very strange that they've only signed one player, that being Ozazi Agidi. Of course, they signed Shaw as well, but that was done last season. I'm uh, not sure what's happening here. I've, I've seen a, a lot of people that support Celtic and uh, come out and say that they're the club are sort of penny-pinching. Um, so, you know, with the Mario Vuskovic, Karl Starfelt, etc, etc, the, the clubs are wanting a bit more money, but Celtic are not willing to pay that extra 500 grand or up to a million pounds as they, as they kind of just want to get the deal done um, fairly cheaply, um, which, you know, I don't think Celtic are in a position right now to just haggle for pennies. I say pennies, but, you know, in, in terms of sort of the transfer sense, they can't be, you can't be just haggling and, and just trying to be cheap on the on the matter. There's a rebuild that has to be done <clears throat> with Celtic and um, they need to get the players in soon. As I said, the qualifiers uh, are in a few days and they've got to register the players in. Um, and that's very, very important in terms of money. Um, so, yeah, they need to get these signings along the way. Obviously, they'll know what happened with John McGinn um, a few years back. Uh, they, they weren't willing to pay that extra 500 grand or whatever it was. And look how he's gone on to go. So they've got to remember that. Um, from a, another Rangers perspective and their, their rumours as well. Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of gone quiet with the links, sort of incomings. Uh, I'm not sure what's that. I think Rangers still need a few more players, and I think they need to get rid of a couple of players, you know, trim the fat around the edges. Uh, that's what's shown uh, in the preseason game so far, that the fringe players aren't good enough for Rangers. So I'm expecting to see some of them players sort of go out the door uh, very, very soon. Uh, and then I think there is going to be one big... Um, exit from Ibrox this summer, whether that be Kamara or Morelos, I think one of them will be leaving the club. But that's just my personal opinion, and uh, whether that happen, only time will tell. There's still so much time to run in the transfer window. Of course, the season starts on the 31st, well, for Celtic in a few days that they, they need to have their players in the door. Um, but yeah, uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this sort of transfer roundup. Uh, please do smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you all next week. Take care, look after yourselves, peace.